hi guys you're welcome to our channel so we'll be doing the drive through from Calabar to uh, Bakaleke Airborne State then to Enugu we already have a video on Enugu uh, Bakaleke to Enugu so but this one will be from Calabar to Abakaleke just to show you what the road looks like um, the current um, state of the road yes the good the bad everything that has to do with the road if you are new to our channel you're welcome to Arlene TV kindly do well to click the subscribe button also turn on notification bell so you'll be the first to know we upload new videos for returning subscribers thank you very much we do appreciate your love for our channel and do not forget to give me your honest review at the end of this video and if you have used the road before also do let us know if there are changes as we go on this drive so we'll be going to a boy this morning let's see somebody requested for the current state of the road to a boy from uh, Calabar so we're going to be using the Akankpa road to see the current state of the road so stay with me guys on this ride I'll be giving you all the details regarding the road and for the person who requested I hope you find it helpful and find it interesting as well and also do help us share the video to as many persons as you can and to all platforms that you belong to so that those who have plans to embark on the trip on trips like this will have an idea of the state of the road so let's go guys we're just leaving Kaaba now so we'll be getting to Akankpa pretty soon so we've left um, Calabar main town now, so we're heading towards uh, the Akampa Junction that leads to Akwai Bomb as well as Ebon State. So we are approaching that junction pretty soon, so from there we take it up to Akampa proper. Then we continue our journey. All of this axis is good for those who are familiar with the road, all of these parts they are are very okay to ride on not seeing really no bad part around here so as we are approaching the ever busy Dupani junction and uh, this flyover work that has been going on for a very long time so we are approaching the Dupani junction now the flyover I'm waiting for them to complete it So guys, we're heading towards a camper now. So let's hope that the road is better than what it was the last time we used it. I think that was last year. So it was quite in a mess last year. The construction work was going on in some portions. So let's hope uh, that's the case. That the case is they've rounded up most of the work that was going on. So we hope. We hope, we hope so. So let's keep it very gradually. I'll be keeping you guys updated as we go on the journey. So we'll get to our camp, I'll keep you updated, get to Geb, I'll keep you updated till we get into um, Airborne State. I'll keep you guys updated. But there's a lot of trailer presence along this road because of the current. So that there's a lot of stones around this axis of uh, to burn into a camper. So there's a lot of stores here, so a lot of trailer presence is here. And uh, that's also the reason for Lafarge and Nakuti also having their their presence in Cross River State. Crazy manufacturing of their products. So you observe a lot of trailers on this route. So that is the more reason why I feel you can see this one is Satom Query. So that's why I feel the government should dualize this road because there's a heavy trailer presence around here and they have having quite a number of uh, private uh, query around here. So I think the government should do something about dualizing this road. I think it would really help prevent accident and all so and the road too is not too too smooth or too good like that uh, so I really wish they can do something about it or 
or dualizing road to really help to prevent a lot of good accidents around here. So, but so far so good. The journey has been great. So just watch out for us arriving at Akampa in the next 10 to 15 minutes. So guys, we are almost, we are already in Akampa. already in a camp uh, I don't think any major work has been done from the uh, Pani to a camp by the way the road is just the same there are just the two potholes here and there that you have to dodge the road is not so smooth so, but at least it's manageable uh, not bad enough to cause uh, relocks or serious traffic as the case may be so it's manageable So we're living a camp and out in the next community. Um, we hope the road too is good. I think it's after this camp that you start. I know Akampa is a very big local government anyway, so it'll take us a little while to exit the local government as it is. But um, I think after Akampa proper, that's when you have some of these bad spots that used to be on the road. But we're observing that to see if uh, thorough work has been done. So if you are from Akampa, do well to rep your location. We are passing your village, we are passing your community, we are passing your town. So anywhere you choose to put it, if it's a town, a village, a community, any of them. So we are passing your community. Do well to rep your location in the comment section. Also tell us that you are from here. And if your house is just by the roadside where we are driving by, also do let us know so you can see how your community is from the lens of my camera so they are not doing bad at all so let's keep it going to the next community so this is the Akampa bridge it has always been bad so i think it was yeah, there's a little sign of asphalt here, but work that was poorly done. So, bridge has always been bad. So it's from after this bridge now that the road was really messy before going to get. So let's hope uh, some few touches have been done. We're starting off from where we are currently can see the state of the road nothing has been done so we have to go gently the healers came down probably understood or he understands the current state of the road so which i knew i would have joined him down I'm up already so to maneuver the best way that we can. So we don't really okay, checkpoint ahead. So we've passed the bridge and the bad spot continues, but let's see how it is going forward. I see there are some cars are even driving on the ground. It's clear enough. The weather is a bit, uh, it's a bit dull around here. I'm driving on the ground, so I'm suffering my car. But there are plenty bumps. So after a camp, towards a quarter plan has not been done. I hope I'm not murdering that thing anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So guys, the road is not so wonderful. It's not so wonderful around here. I know after Ugev to Abakaleke used to be better when I'm on this trip. But I hope uh, the state of that also have not deteriorated very well as well. So I think some persons try to some feel and fill the road but uh, I think it didn't really do much justice 
to eat, so I was uh, try to serve him from what I'm saying, but you know, this is raining season, so they are being washed off as well by the rain. Can't wait to get into a clean road. So guys, the road around here is something else I must tell you. I'll be driving on a very bad surface. So I could not even do the video. Shaking was so much around here. I I thought the road would be better by now but on the look of things eh, it's even getting worse it's even getting worse because the raining season is really washing off the stuff so guys um, the road has been very terrible so I even had to stop videoing because a lot of maneuvering that I needed to do on the road because it was not just it's not just a smooth ride at all. I think I never anticipated the road to be like this again. Probably I didn't prepare my mind for it. So I can't really wait to get to a boy state. So I can have a free drive around that axis. So that's been the situation. The road is you have to do a lot of maneuvering. So if you are planning to to use this road anytime soon, just prepare your mind that it is very bumpy. You know, it's very, very, very bumpy. So prepare your mind. If you want to pity your car, you might not have to run so well and that will also delay your trip. So, but it's a very bumpy road, I must say. So I thought by now, a lot of, uh, a lot of part of the road would have been smoother than this. There's no significant, no change at all. Let me never use the word significant. There's no change at all. Rather, it has even gotten bad. Let me believe I've not gotten to the part where the construction was done. Let me believe so. So we are still on it. Let's keep it going. We'll get to get very soon, hopefully. So guys, the road has been bad. There's just been one maneuvering to another, to another, to another. So, and these commercial drivers, they don't really have cheese on this road. I think they really, they now understand the road very well. So they know how to seriously maneuver on this route very well. So the road is, is in the poor state. That's just the summary of the update. So I just want to get it to the end and see if there are parts that has been worked on. But the summary is that it's in a very poor, poor state. It's just like the Calabai to road. The Calabai to itself is even more friendly than this one now. Because they are working on that. You can check our updates for the our videos for the update of that one. You can see the current state of the road. Since I've been driving from Akampa, uh from uh, Dopani, I don't think I've raised my speed above 60, 70. That's been the speed I've been driving on, and it's a three hour, 30 minutes drive from Calabar. So just imagine running at 60 70 speed sometimes you go as low as 20 10 you know so imagine when we are going to arrive 
airborne it today. You know, the drive like this. So, all of our people, all with my cross reverians, can you help us share this video? Let the appropriate authority get to see it. The road is still in a bad shape. Share to all your platform. Let uh, let the government look into it and see what can be done or salvage from the road. And this is the road linking Cross River to the neighboring state of Boy and um what was it called it links quite a good number of communities as well you know i've always had an example with a boy in governor the outgoing governor we always say there is no federal road in the state all of them are being used by the people of a boy so for that singular reason he would fix and express the reply of the federal government you know I think that's what every state government should emulate. Let them fix the roads that their people often use. So this road is a major road that cuts across a lot of communities in Cross River State. I think attention should be paid on it. So you can see this part we just climbed now. So I think this is the part that has been done because it's looking a bit new. So I think that is the part that has been done. So that is after a camper into a cotter web. But just right in front of us now you can see that the spots they, they did it half are continued again. So I don't really know the reason for this break that we have here on this road. So I think this is the part the governor was saying has been done. So, but it's still half, 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 half work. So what I'm saying now, if the usage of this road continue within this year and the rain falls very well, I don't think this can stand the test of time because the edges are not even properly smoothed. You know, uh, except maybe uh, they are not done. Looking at this part, they are also leaving behind. So I said maybe they are not done and they are coming back to do some major work again around here. If not, if this is the completion of the job, believe you me, this will not stand the test of time. It's going to return back to the state it has always been before. So, so guys, if you are driving towards this direction, prepare your car for the tests that awaits the car. You know, so you see some vehicles even stopping along the road. So prepare your car for the test that is ahead. So let's keep it going, guys. Once we are getting to the next community, I want to keep you updated on how far the road is. So guys, we've passed Betem. Betem, so I don't know how you guys are calling that place. So all of this part has been tarred from there. So let me believe this styling has gotten to get If it has, I believe the journey will be way faster than what we have done before. But clean tiling, but the finishing by the edge is what I usually have an issue with because there can easily be breaking. So, this part of the road is good. So, let's hope um, that is how it will be till we get to Gap. So, if you pass your community, write your location in the comment section. And uh, if you are not yet a subscriber, please do well to click the subscribe button and turn on notification bell. You can check our video catalog. You can check our video catalog for other videos of Cross River States. So we've done a whole lot going from uh, 
Calabar to Ecom to Ogoja. So just check all of those videos. We have them in our video catalog. So a whole lot of videos about Cross River State. So do check them out and give us your sincere review. And also do it to give us your review on this one. So I can't wait to get to Gap to actually see if the road is very smooth all the way from the to Gap. But so far so good since after we left uh, Ecotype the road was start from getting this other road that is a little bumpy but not as what we experience coming from Akampa Axis. So let's keep it locked down guys. Let's get to Gap and see the current state of the road. So guys, the road has been smooth like this all the way from uh, really after a camp, basically, the road has been this smooth. Just like I showed you when we started off. And in the next 15 minutes or so, we should be in again. So we shows that the road is actually very neat from that axis that we constructed. So I believe maybe it's this part of the road the governor was talking about and not uh, before uh, not uh, a camper axis so there is no sign of construction work around the Akampa axis so I don't think there is plan for that part now at all but this part has been done looking smooth, looking neat really after a camper coming down to Gap so I believe the road should lead us to Gap just the way it is so let me know your thoughts in the comments but well, generally if i'm to rate the journey from a boy to calabar i'll just tell you i'll give it a 50 in regards to to the road you know because the part that is bad is really really bad you know it's not as if it's semi bad so that is why i'll give it a 50. i'll put a 45 so but uh, that is it that is it but after a camp the road is good. so literally from abakaleke you can drive drive gap you know you keep coming down you enjoy a very smooth road and the sad part is it's a very short distance that is uh, that is very bad on this journey so i really wish something can be done about it so but by and large it has been great so let's get to gap and see that axis as well so guys as you can see we are at Ugeb now and as usual the culture in a um, cross river span across not just Calabar but to other neighboring towns in the state you can see the trees in now, 600 meters um, turn yes, left the trees is bringing to the town so I think it's, it's literally like this in most of the major towns and community in um, in uh, Cross River State, even when I visited um, Ogoja, Turn left. Home, the same feeling I had, you know. So it's a nice one. It's a nice one that they have this culture of planting trees and just keeping the environment a bit serene. Head northeast so on a camper Agap Road, Katsina um, La Calabar Road. Okay. Continue on A4 for one and a half kilometers. Let me know in the comment section. You are from Mugab, let me know in the comment section that you are from Mugab and we are passing through your town. Just let me know. I've also passed a night in your town one time like that that I had to stop to have a meeting with some persons here to get. So it's the major link town from here to Ebony State. So I think I've spent the night here. So it was great. The reception was very nice from the people i think i enjoyed it so this is Ugev. so we'll be doing a quick turn to our left and that will be taking us straight to abakaleke at the boy state so stay tuned guys for that road i believe the road should still be very much okay now just as it was before you know, i did a video there last year so i believe it should still be okay so Let's ride on it before we bring this video to an end. We are approaching the river now. So this is like the river that demarcates um, a boy from Cross River. So we are at the bridge now. 
it's uh, it's, it's kind of well covered. Red vehicles from running in, if not, we have seen the water. Set that back and not come down. So, getting to the junction ahead of us now, just do a diversion to our right and you are off into a boy state. So, then we get to our back in the next few minutes. So, we are down from the bridge. Um, let me stay on the video till we get to the junction where we'll make a U-turn, a right turn rather, into a boy. So here we are making this turn to our right. So off we go into a point state. So the road is literally smooth and clean from here to Abakiliki. So it was nice vlogging this trip for you guys. So for as many who have used the road before, kindly indicate in the comment section and let us know your experience as well of this road. Was it this good? around this axis I mentioned when you used it or it was bad so just let us know in the comment section your experience of the road and for those who have not why intended to use it I hope the information on this video will be helpful to you to plan your trip and for our returning subscriber thank you very much for always giving us your support we really do appreciate your love for the channel and for those watching our videos for the first time you are welcome to Alin TV please do want to click the subscribe button also turn on notification bell so you get to know when we upload new videos like we often say I we pride ourselves with the roadmaster in South South and South Eastern Nigeria so any road you want to embark on as far as South South and South East is concerned do well to check out our channel and the rest assured we must have done a full coverage of that road and giving you the current update as regards to that road. So thank you very much guys. We really do appreciate you for staying with us on this road trip from Calabar to Eboi. Thank you guys.